Hi, Matt with eTrailer. If you're looking for something that's gonna be really easy to store in your house or your garage, because maybe you do go out riding a lot, but maybe where you're driving at or you need to do a lot of parallel parking, and you need all the space that you can save, then this is gonna be a great option for you, especially if you are carrying a variety of different types of bikes. So let's check out the Thule Epos bike rack on the back of our 2023 Nissan Rogue. So this is going to have a weight capacity of up to 140 pounds for the whole carrier. Now, one of those bikes can weigh 75 pounds, and you just got to play around with those weights. But that's really not going to affect our tilt away, and really the tilt away on this is just awesome. And you're going to notice we have this foot pedal right here. I like that because it's closest to us, so we don't have to reach in anywhere. I'm just press down on that and then pull this towards me. And this is a pretty extreme tilt away, especially something that is designed to work with those heavy e-bikes. That's gonna allow me access to get my hatch open. So if you're going to the store and you need to get some groceries after your bike ride or you wanna get ready for your bike ride, you can grab your gear or even tie your shoes and get ready for your ride. After when you're all finished up, you can close your hatch up and put this into the seated position. And that's actually not too hard because the way this pivots is pretty smooth. I barely have to put any force into that. Now with the Rogue, with how that hitch sits on our vehicle, everything's gonna be really close. So even our handlebars are just gonna be a few inches away. Something this rack does really well is holding our bike into place. As you can see, even with me really just jostling this around, we're not gonna make contact with our vehicle. Now we can take a closer look at this rack, but I'm gonna take my bike off first. The way I like to do this is just by removing these straps, just pressing down on it and pulling it through. And you have a spot to just store these for the time being so they're not in your way. Same thing for the other side. I will point out though, what's cool about these is, you notice we have these points here that stick up, I pull down on that, that's actually a ratcheting device, which I think is really neat and it really helps tighten everything down. But again, same thing over here, getting this out of the way. But what really stands out is gonna be our center mass. And how this works is it extends up they really fit any point of our frame. And it's still gonna have that ratcheting device on it. And it's gonna have a lock cord for additional security. What's really cool about this is not only can it grab onto our frame, but it can also grab onto our rear tire. If you have those alternative frame bikes that just don't work with this, or carbon frame, or any bikes that just have a really nice paint job. And that's the point to just lift up and take it off. Now, if you have some really heavy e-bikes and you really struggle with getting that on to your rack, you can actually get a ramp separately that attached to the very back of it just to make that easier. Now, when you're driving down the road, you wanna make sure you put everything back into place, like the center mass. And when you're putting this down, you actually push down on it. And they have a little spot for you to hook this down so it's not flopping around. Make sure everything's pretty flush or flat. You can rearrange this if need be. And now we can get a few measurements just to get an idea of how this is gonna sit on the back of our car. So I'm gonna go for my lowest point, and that's gonna be this little foot pedal right there. That's gonna sit at 15 inches. So that's really not too bad. It's something to think about if you're going up some really steep hills, because if you do have those heavy e-bikes on here, that could drop down by an inch or two, but I don't see it being likely of making that ground contact. And we also can get how far it's gonna stick out. Where I like to go from is our back bumper to the back of the carrier, and that's gonna sit at just about a little bit over 26 inches. Honestly, it isn't too bad, but like I was saying earlier, if you're in those really tight spots, like you're trying to parallel the park, that might be kind of difficult. So having the ability to remove this is definitely gonna benefit you a lot, especially with how easy it is to navigate. But I'll talk a little bit about that more later. 
we also have another position that this can be stored in. And you can actually fold up these two arms or both sides of the tray. Now, if you have in this position, this is actually just a stationary storage position. So this isn't recommended to drive down on the road like this. This is designed more for when you do have it in your garage or your apartment. And so it doesn't take up a lot of space. But I'll put that back down because we won't be driving like that. And so we can get an idea of how this is going to be or how it's going to look when you're driving. So what is going to interact with. So with it in this position, we're not going to block really a lot. The only thing I can see us really noticing a lot is our backup camera. Because when you're backing up, you're going to see where this sticks out. But really, that's a plus because when you are backing up, you want to make sure you're not going to collide into anything with your rack. But as far as your taillights and your license plates and back window, that should be fine. And the way this is going to install in our vehicle is kind of neat too. We look down here, we're actually going to have this inch and a quarter shank and it's going to have a two inch sleeve adapter on it. So we can work with inch and quarter receivers and two inch receivers. And we're going to have this hook that goes around, around to the other side and secures this down. So this is going to act as our pin. And the way this is going to lock into place and really secure to our hitch receiver is going to be this anti rattle device. This anti rattle device is actually something you can maneuver pretty easy. You can pull it out some, pick where you want to place it, and then tighten it down. And that's going to come with a lock court too. So it's going to be the same key system as our other lock court up top. So you only have to carry one key, provide that extra security, and the anti rattle device is going to prevent this from rattling around on the back of your vehicle. Now, in my opinion, I think this is great, especially like I was saying earlier, if you want to store it, because underneath, I'll lift these up so you can better look at it, we're going to have these wheels. So if you are, if, or if you struggle with lifting this up or lifting up any carrier, what you can actually do with this design is take it out and wheel it to your destination. That's what I really like about this design. But overall, I think it's a solid carrier if you are constantly taking it on and off because you need to because if you're driving in some really tight areas this is going to be really hard to drive with or really a lot of carriers are too. If you're looking for something that has a lot of the same capacities of this you just don't need that ability to store it inside your home then the Kuat NV 2.0 bike rack is another great option for you because that's going to give us a really clean look on the back of our vehicle and it's going to feel very sturdy because when I look at this one, we do have some plastic points here. And if you're not a big fan of that construction, then the NV is going to be a great solution for that. But like I was saying earlier, if you're in those really tight spots, you need to be able to take this off and store it in your home, then this is probably going to be the best finds for you. But that's just a look at the Thule Epo Spike Rack on the back of our 2023 Nissan Rogue. I'm Matt. Thanks for watching.